No. But my father's a consultant. Oh, cool. Oh, they're all gonna know more than me. And I just feel like I'm gonna walk into that interview and just look like a right idiot. You're gonna look a bigger bloody fool when you show up to Act the Bridge without even trying. I think I've made a mistake. I don't wanna be here. I don't like how it's making me feel. I've had no, but you whining on at me for years about how you were going to be different. You've got to get out of Ackley Bridge and do something with your life. No, you're here in this place and you've bottled it. And why? Oh, because your skin's too brown. You, you, you don't talk posh enough. You don't know enough. Well, I've got news for you, Nazarene Paracha. You'll never know enough. Your skin will always be brown. And if someone's bleeding to death, they won't give a toss if you don't sound like Camilla Parker bleeding balls. I'm packing school in. I'm gonna get a job on the fair. For a while, anyway. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, yeah, well, come on, Missy, you're being ridiculous. <laughs> oh, so it's all right for you to go off to Oxford, and everyone's like, oh, Oxford, Naz, wow, you're amazing. I said I'm getting a job on the fair, and I'm being ridiculous. Uh, excuse me, Missy! Now, I stood by you in Oxford when you bottled it. You weren't Little Miss Perfect then, were you? What? Didn't tell anybody that bit, did you? No, of course you didn't. Missy Boob talking sense and saving your neck. No, that's not how our story goes, is it, Nan? Missy, what's actually wrong? Us? We are... Nan's my mum offered more support than you. Since when have you ever listened to her? That what she's done with her life. Do you really, like... What, do I want to end up like her? Is that what you're going to say? That used to be my life, is it? I tell you what, Nan's. For all that she's done, she didn't laugh in my face. I understand now, Missy. I do. Honest. Come here. Dear Pete, sorry I won't make it this year. Red with tea leaves and Dead tired. I'm fine. We'll end off soon. I'm staying. If you like. Of course we'll stay. You went up, love. Get some rest. No, love, you're in the right place. Nana? <laughs> Nana? No. What are you doing here? But... You're dead. I'm... It's okay. No. <laughs> the paramedic say? She couldn't tell me much. Thinks maybe she hit her head in the accident. Some kind of in internal bleeding.
I just can't see how she's ever going to get over it. She won't. When you love someone that much, losing them isn't something you ever get over. You learn to live with it. I got into drama school. You what? I got into drama school in Manchester. Oh, my God! You beat your bloody genius! <laughs> An illustrious career playing terrorists and cab drivers awaits. It's a niche market. Oh, my God! I'm so proud of you. <laughs> we always said dream big, didn't we? Dream big or go on? We ain't got long together, Naz. I don't want to waste what time we've got. I know it's not the same without her. It's not without you, neither. I miss you. I do, too. I don't know how to be me without missing. Let me help you. Oh, just try! Oh, no! Why? Get in! Go. Surprise, surprise. It was you in my house, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Do you have any idea what it feels like to be scared in your own home? Do you know what it feels like to wake up and find a stranger in your house where your children are sleeping? Do you know what that feels like, Sam? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not blaming you. It's not your fault. It's just... It's unfair what your mum was doing to you. Just shut it, you heard me? I said shut it! Watch your mouth! I know you! This won't work on me anymore. Because I don't owe you anything, do you hear me? Oh, see? Doing it again. I know what you wanted to do to me at Mr. Eversett. I know! And you have no idea how I feel, do you? What do you know? Huh? You don't know anything. Why, Mr. Eversett? Because he's what a stuck on? up, pompous prat who didn't learn his lesson the first time. What's going on? No one tells me what is best for my kid and treats me like dog turd. He's just picked up at the bottom of his shoe. His daughter was there. And so am I when he humiliated me! With your package in! You're jealous of him. Oh, don't be so bloody stupid. Wow. Is that what all this has been about? Because he cares! I'm your mum. I look after you, not him. You were trying to turn you against us. Against me. Do you not see? You were trying to come between us. He would have you in care before you knew it. Hmm? And then what would you do? Not six months in juvie. I, ju I just... <laughs> what? Come on, what? He made me feel like a bad. And I'm not. I'm not. And it, it was true what I said. About all I ever did inside would think about you. And he. He could see what you were capable of. Gemma. I don't even know why. It was just the want. I mean, I don't even fancy her. Have you seen the state of her? Are you off your head? What's wrong with you? 
Your dad nearly killed himself last year. No, I wasn't saying it were right. No. You don't think, do you? Ever. About anyone other than you. Because to you, it's just sex. But to someone with actual human feelings, it's... I always knew you were a slut, Corey. Just turns out you're not a very nice person. You helped me be me. I'll never not be grateful for that. I said it in my very first gig. I said it'll always be you. That's a problem, because it will. This isn't good. Okay, well, um, what you want to have that be different? Just tell me, say it, and we'll, we'll whatever it is, I'll do it. I just need you to let me go. We're over. You're bad for me. Same time, same place tomorrow, okay? Save it for tomorrow. It weren't his fault. That's not what the police thinks, bro. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Calm down. I need to speak to you, sir. All right, inside. Back to your lessons now, everyone. Julian says you want me? Yes, uh, right. I've had to call the trust and I I, I need you. Spit it out, man. Uh, so Riz has made an allegation. She's and... been sleeping with Corey. It's true, miss. Oh. And where have you heard this? Well, Corey has told him everything. Right. There's been lots of rumours spread around this school lately, hasn't there? I think we might have just found the people responsible. Mrs. Carp, if you wouldn't mind taking Riz and Alia to resolve these, I will deal with them later. Sharon, uh, look, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, I need a word with you, Miss Oakes, in private. Well, you finally got what you wanted, didn't you? Your office back. You never wanted me here since day one. <laughs> For your information, it was Martin that called Kent. Muggins here was waiting for you at the trust. Same difference. Got a chance to kick me out. You had a sexual relationship with a student. Says who? Corey Wilson. You! You admitted it to me. No, I didn't. Throwing your guts up on the side of the road. I was drunk. Upset about him. Whatever you think you heard. Stop it. No, don't try that on me, because I know you. Corey is a fantasist. He kissed me, nothing else. You can't do it, can you? Take responsibility for once in your life, because that poor lad is sitting in a police station with his future hanging by a thread because of you. What about my future? Everything I've worked for, gone. Ken suspended me. I'm going to be investigated by the trust. Yeah? Mud sticks, man. E even if you're a good teacher, and I am a good teacher. You know that. You were. How are you feeling? You do know that none of this is your fault, right? The thing is, Corey, the, the trust need to do an investigation and they're going to want to speak to you and Miss Oakes, obviously. Now, we don't want you to worry because Miss Carter and I, we're going to go through everything with you. Anything you need, we're going to be right there for you, OK? 
Let's get you on. No, I, I just want to talk to her. Yeah, not the best idea you've had, pal. Corey, Sean. No, Corey. Sean. Corey, this is not a good idea. Sean. If he's not out of here in five seconds, I'm calling it's the fine. police. He's going, he's going. Why, why are you doing this? Corey, just get in the car now. You don't want to be with him. But one step closer, I'm warning you. All right, let's just calm down. All right? You said that what we have was special. He needs help. Corey, let's go. Corey, no, you said Corey. that you loved me. For God's sake. Calm down. Calm down. Please. Go on, admit it. I never. I wouldn't. Whatever's in your head. You? You're in my head. You don't have to listen to this. I can't stop thinking about you, ab about us. Go on, you do it all, don't you? No, no, I don't. Please just stop all these lies, Corey. Just stop. Come on, mate, let's get you on, yeah? But it's the truth, mate. I know, I know. I believe you. You were uh, coming out tonight to celebrate our results? Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't miss it. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> there he is, 50 shades of grease. Save me, Corey, save me! Ignore him. Um, we're off to Athlete Nights later. If you fancy joining us. Probably not. Alright then. Sorry I didn't come to see you. Oh, I was meant to, but... Yeah. Surprised you didn't want to see Corey Wilson get his comeuppance? No. Yeah, sure. So you didn't feel a little bit superior when you found out? It wasn't like that. I mean, she took advantage of Yeah, all right. Do me a favour. Yeah. Look, it were offered to me on a plate and I took it. You don't have to put a front on with me. I enjoyed every single second of it and so did she. Yeah, and, and just a few more months and none of this would have mattered. I'd have been out of school. She'd have left her husband and we'd have been together. That was never going to happen. Yeah, you would say that, wouldn't you? Admit it, Naveed, you are happy that I am miserable. I'm just bloody angry for you. You're my best mate, and I can see you hurt. Oh, yes, see it! Can you? Can you see it, Naveed? Tell me what you can see, because I would love to know. Is it a loser? Yeah, is that what you can see? Go on! Answer me! I blew it! All right? I don't understand why I feel so bad about it. It felt real. No, I thought she... she... How could I be so stupid? Watching you lot tonight, I, I felt nothing. And I am being left behind. <laughs> None of this is your fault. None of it. Jimmy. Hey. You're not going to be left behind. All right. 